Good morning, KU. Welcome to your final edition of Good Morning KU for the semester. Mm -hmm. I'm Katie. And I'm Caitlin. Happy Thursday and happy Stop Day Eve. Yes, if uh, you're like both of us and have been probably stressing out this past week more than all semester mm -hmm. about final projects and tests, like I don't know why teachers throw it all on you <laughs> right before finals, but they do. And you know, maybe a few tears have been shed this week, but now they can be tears of joy. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. Almost okay, there. we have to get through finals, but yes. then we'll be I almost mean, there. I so close, I can almost taste it. Right, right. Oh. Almost there. But, Cannot you know, if you're, if you're if you're feeling stressed, we do have a few great suggestions to kind of loosen the mood a little. Chris, some Christmas cheer for you. Um, right. Well, first, you know, dive into the internet, you know. Yes. Surf, yes, if you YouTube. are... If you are like us and whenever you go online to do your homework, you don't really do your homework, you end mm -hmm. up on other websites such as YouTube, watching videos. Um, another website you can go to is trackingsanta.net. Um, this is a very cool interactive website where you can track Santa. And our first one, um, you can go to the North Pole and they uh, just have different, you can like click on all the different countries and they'll show you what um, all happened there and they give you dates and they give you like little stories um, and I think and it says if you go if we can go over to Switzerland over um, in Europe there was um, that's where the sleigh was designed Ooh, so yeah. that was pretty cool so you can just see it all over the world um, how Santa even though it's not Christmas he's still everywhere yeah. and his elves he's testing his sleigh there yes. was a few test runs so and speed uh, trials yes, going on. Yes, speed trials. You know, everything to get him ready for that yes. big Christmas night. I think night. even um, in the southern hemisphere, uh, if we can go down just a little bit over to uh, near the Philippines and the islands and Australia over there, they did some um, warm weather testing. If we can, oh, look, there's a prototype test flight in Australia. So, you know, he's just all over the world, so it doesn't have to be Christmas. You know. They're He's ready going for everywhere. all conditions. Yes. He's ready for all conditions. That's he it. will be at your house. I know. Season. I can't wait. I know my little cousins like to track him, and I love tracking mm -hmm. him, and I just can't wait to uh, keep up with that and see what other crazy stories right. they have going on around the world. Yeah, so you can either track Santa to get in the Christmas spirit, or I know a lot of people around campus are pulling out their ugly Christmas sweaters. Yes. And I think the uh, ugly Christmas sweater party is a big mm -hmm. um, tradition going on right now. Right. One that I definitely love. Right, and who doesn't love wearing ugly Christmas sweaters because they're just so, some are so ridiculous to watch, you know, the huge stuffed animals on them or, yes. you know, who knows what you're going to find at, yeah, for an ugly Christmas I feel sweater. like most of them come from your grandmother's as well, which just kind of makes it even better because you're mm -hmm. just keeping it all in the you're family. It in the family right? <laughs> you're bringing it back. But even the cans in today is celebrating their Christmas spirit. They have a little section um, of the anatomy of an ugly Christmas sweater. So you can go look at that. It's, it's only three simple steps. The first one is snowflakes with plenty. Why? Yes. Because winter. So we got I think snowflakes, I have a snowflake snowflakes, down snowflake. down here. We've got that one covered. Yes. The second one is various fuzzy animals. I don't have a lot of fuzzy animals. I, I have, have a some. fuzzy Santa beard. Does that count? Yes, that counts. Yes. That definitely counts. You know, some texture. Yes. <laughs> and the third one is my favorite, um, red and green colors. This one is a no-brainer. A Christmas sweater isn't Christmas themed without its traditional holiday colors, just like Santa isn't Father Christmas without his reindeer squad. Ooh, and reindeer squad. I am squad. only going to be referring to it as a reindeer squad for, <laughs> for the rest of my life now. Well, so. um, I think we both um, got the red and green covered. So, right. speaking of reindeer, which reindeer is your favorite? I don't know. I think um, Dancer. I would have to say mine is definitely Blitzen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We have we have little reindeer cups in my house, and his picture is my favorite one. So definitely go in there. Although everybody's is Rudolph, you know, all right. time. I mean, he's that's a red-nosed kind of, reindeer. Who doesn't want a red-nosed reindeer? True. Um, I will say I do also own a Christmas vest. Ooh, where, where is it? Why didn't you bring it today? It, but I did not want to intimidate anyone with that power outfit. Yeah. So I just stuck with one Christmas. That is a very today. impressive it does go one. All the way down that's definitely arms, a vintage though. one. Yeah. I, I like it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. It's so, like, okay, keeping in uh, the Christmas spirit today, we are going to be back in a little bit with a guest, but our guest ha has a cat, and she sent us a picture of him dressed as Santa. the cutest How cat cute ever. is that? 
That is the cutest Christmas cat I've ever seen. Okay. And uh, with that, we will be right back. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Hi, welcome back. We are with Coral Liu, who is graduating this semester. Hello. She is a senior leaving us, and uh, she's been working on Good Morning KU with us for a very long time. So I know we're going to miss you. This is your last show together. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so um, over your years at KU, what are some highlights? Um, I mean, actually, the first time I came to KU, when I moved into McCollum, I was mm -hmm. shocked because <laughs> it, was, it wasn't like what I expected because I, I, I was in a private high school before, so like the dorm was really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some also very nice dorm, but the first dorm I moved in was McCollum, but then I moved to Templin, so it was ah. much better. <laughs> then I didn't know what to do when I was in Kansas because it's, of course, it's not like a big city when I was traveling to uh, New York or mm -hmm. Boston, it's just like so different. But then I start to like enter journalism school, then I spent time in J school, then I figured out, oh, I really like journalism. And I think that was the most time I enjoyed there. Um, I I edited videos in the editing room. Also, like I ca carry my camera, went out and I interview people, shoot also different kinds of clips, then mm -hmm. put them together. So I feel like that's the stuff that I want to do in my future. And uh, I sometimes I just lost track in the <laughs> TV newsroom. So mm -hmm. I really enjoy like doing this stuff there. So that I think that's my favorite part at KU. Yeah, and I know you produce a lot of great stuff over yeah. your four years. And we do have a little throwback Thursday for you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> some clips of some of your projects. OK. <laughs> Carlo a Tottenham, a geek, a leg, a hot talk, your beer, no, you politica, you chicani on a ya. Chongo go nan ho zono and so inishi, taiko, hanjima, kauko san holo, so you sumida. Deep lent fout mit macht and vice side wound on sunset glanced and zoom coofed. Kululu she cut at Chen Jie Xing Wen Ran Ran Zai Chi the Ming Xing. We need to unite it together. We are one family. C creative, O opponent, R rational, A amazing, L lovely, L lucky, U unique, Kurlu. That was <laughs> awesome. So you were speaking a bunch of different languages there. What were all those different languages? Um, I was speaking German, I was speaking Korean, I was speaking Chinese, I was speaking Hungarian. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. That is a lot. Um, so uh, when you, after you move on, after you graduate this semester, I know you have some big plans. You just got some really exciting news last night. You want to share that? Yeah, um, I got an admission letter from Northwestern University, Medill Journalism School. So I am officially a member of Medill's Northwestern student now. <laughs> that is awesome. So you are going to be a Wildcat now. So yeah. I don't know if us here in Kansas are huge Wildcat fans, but we're going to be um, we're going to be a Wildcat Northwestern Wildcat fan for you. Yeah, but I, I mean, I probably will come back visit Kansas because I still have some friends here. So. Sometimes when I have like a shop break, I probably just come back here to uh, to visit. I, I thought mm -hmm. I probably would love the big city, but after I make so many friends here, I figured out I, I probably will come back to visit them. Right, right. Yeah. So have you visited Chicago or Northwestern? I haven't, nor uh, I haven't um, visited uh, Northwestern yet, mm -hmm. but I've been to Chicago two times, and uh, I just love it. It's a great city, very clean, you know, very just like a, how it looks in big city. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Chicago, so I might be a little biased, but I definitely think it's one of the best cities in yeah. the US. So um, I have visited Evanston a little bit. Evanston is where Northwestern is located, and it is a beautiful campus. Yeah. You can have so much fun. It's right on the lake and everything, and okay. it's a beautiful campus. And you're going to have so much fun at Northwestern. And I we're going to miss you so much here. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for being our guest on our last Thursday. Good morning, KU. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to. Yeah. Of course, and good luck with everything in your future. I know you'll do great things. Thank you. So stay tuned, we'll be right back.
I'm Lauren Davidson. And I'm Jasmine Polk. This is your final Good Morning KU news update of the semester. NFL teams have unanimously endorsed a new personal conduct policy that applies to all NFL employees. The new measures include a larger list of prohibited conduct, investigative procedures, and specific criteria on paid leave for individuals charged with violent crimes. The measure also includes a mandatory six-game suspension for any crime involving violent conduct such as domestic violence or sexual assault. Governor Sam Brownback has announced $280 million in allotment cuts in order to fill the budget shortfall. Officials insist that the cuts will not affect K-12 education, higher education, or public safety. Brownback's cuts are taking $95.7 million from the state highway fund and nearly $7 million from operational budgets of state agencies for the next six months. These cuts do not address the additional $436 million dollar deficit that is projected for the next fiscal year. City Manager David Corliss has decided to delay a $1 million payment for infrastructure costs at Rock Chalk Park after a dispute emerged over the public's awareness of the impending payment. The payment was not advertised on the, city meeting, the city's meeting agenda and came as a surprise for most of the public. Corliss said via email that the Rock Chalk Park payment will not be made until the public has had a chance to see the financial report and comment on it. Kappa Sigma will remain on interim suspension after KU and fraternity leaders agreed to extend their investigation. Kappa Sigma had a hearing with univers university officials on November 24th in which members argued that they should be removed from interim suspension while the investigation continues. KU administrators ruled yesterday that Kappa Sigma will remain on interim suspension throughout the course of the investigation. The Kansas men basketball team triumphed 75 to 70 over Georgetown yesterday, but one particular Jayhawk is making all the headlines. Sophomore Brandon Green scored a career high 19 points and was the leader of two 7 0 runs in the second half. The 6 foot 7 guard went 5 for 5 from three point range and 4 for 4 from the free throw line. The Jayhawks take on Utah at the Sprint Center on Saturday. Finally, a Hawaiian fisherman was rescued by the Coast Guard yesterday after 12 days at sea. 67-year-old Ron Ingraham left shore on Thanksgiving morning and was sucked 200 miles off course and out into the sea. The Coast Guard called off the search for the 25-foot vessel on December 1st, but miraculously, a Navy ship found the lost boat with its skipper safe and sound. And that's it for today's news update. Stay tuned, and after the break, all of them will be here with the finals week forecast. Please keep watching. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back, everybody. Here's a live look uh, overseeing the Spencer uh, Museum and the Campanile. It's very cloudy and foggy outside right now, and it's going to stay like that for a little while as well. Currently, it is 35 degrees outside, but it's going to warm up a little bit, and it's also going to warm up over the next several days as well. Here's a look at your almanac. Yesterday, we had a high temperature of 34 degrees. Our average around this time of year, though, is 42, and we had a record high all the way back in 19. Uh, 47 of 69 degrees, but it's, we're actually going to be in the 60s soon enough. We won't be near 70, but we are definitely going to be in the 60s. Here's your planner for the rest of today. 38 degrees at around 11 a.m., 2 p.m., 42 degrees, 5 p.m., also 42 degrees. It's going to be cloudy all day. It's going to be cloudy for the next several days, but there's not going to be much of a breeze either. The winds are going to be pretty calm coming in from the east, southeast. Here's a look at the next seven days and giving you a little glimpse into finals week as well. 42 today, 51 tomorrow on Friday, 58 degrees on Saturday, and 60 degrees on Sunday. So temperatures are going to be warming up, very unseasonably warm. It's going to feel nice, and it's actually going to feel like spring as well. The men play at the Sprint Center on Saturday and the women play here at Allen Fieldhouse on Sunday. Here's a, a quick glance into the first three days of final week. Monday there's an 80% chance of rain so finals week 52 degrees cloudy rainy if you're like me you're probably going to take that as a premonition that your finals week is going to be very gloomy and cloudy and rainy with no chance for sunshine anytime soon. But 52 degrees on Mondays, uh, Tuesday 41 Wednesday, 40 degrees. Thursday and Friday, we can also expect temperatures to be in the middle 
to upper 40s. So seasonable temperature. So finals week is not going to be cold. That's also very nice, but there's not going to be very much sun either. So we're going to have to deal with the clouds for quite a bit. That's your final forecast for Good Morning KU for this semester. When we come back after the break, everybody will be here. Welcome back. We want to say thank you for watching all of our Good Morning KUs this whole semester. And this is it for us. It's our last Good Morning KU for this semester. And we also want to say a big goodbye to Coral Lou. Thank you. We want to wish you the best. And we did. We do have a cake. It has KU and Northwestern on it. Just wish you good luck with everything in your future. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching this whole semester. And be sure to tune in next semester for Good Morning KU at 10 o'clock. Have a great day. Thank you.